welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Giselle and for today's video I'm gonna go ahead and be telling you guys how I keep my teeth nice bright and white I tend to always get asked how I keep my teeth so bright and white and if I whiten them if I do how do I whiten them so before I get into the 411 and how I maintain my white teeth make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and now let's go ahead and get started okay so for starters I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys the product that I use when I do want to go ahead and whiten my teeth just as a disclaimer I have not whitened my teeth in over three years so you can go ahead and use this product often but I suggest using it twice a year the reason why I say twice a year is because your teeth can get very sensitive to this product I think when you use any type of whitening treatment or any type of whitening product your teeth are automatically going to get sensitive it is a powerful treatment to put on your teeth so that's why I do suggest doing it every now and then and not that often but that is up to you okay, so now we're just gonna jump right into the product that has white in my teeth and that is the Crest 3D Whitening Strip. This one is in Glamorous White. They have different kind of whitening strips. There is a sensitive one. There's also like a diamond strip one. But this is the one that I have used to go ahead and keep my teeth white. So with this whitening strip in specific, it does have two whitening strips. One for the top row of your teeth and one for the bottom row. I'm going to go ahead and open it to go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> So as you guys can see, there are two whitening strips, one for the top and one for the bottom. And before you go ahead and lay the product side of the whitening strip on your teeth, you do want to make sure that you blot off any spits off your teeth. And the reason why you want to do that is for the product to go ahead and adhere better onto your teeth and it's not slipping around. That way the product can retain better into your teeth, causing you to have a brighter and whiter smile. In terms of how long you leave the whitening strip on for, I recommend that you follow the recommended time that Crest gives and that is 30 minutes. Like I mentioned, you do want to go ahead and do it in increments and not go overboard. You don't want to ruin the integrity of your teeth. You do want to keep your teeth healthy and that means doing it by the recommended time. Like I mentioned, whitening your teeth is a process. You're not going to get your immediate results that you want right away. You do have to work towards them. And once you have your desired white shade of teeth that you want, upkeeping it is important as well. So although I have not whitened my teeth in over three years, what I did used to do when I used to whiten my teeth is that when I removed my whitening strip, I went ahead and brushed my teeth right after. That is because you don't want to have any remnants of the whitening product staying on your teeth because it can leave blotchy and uneven spots on your teeth. So you want to go ahead and remove any product that is still on there in order to have an even white bright smile. And that is what I do in order to keep my teeth nice and white. That is my teeth whitening routine. Now in terms of upkeeping it, that is a whole different ball game. And what I mean by that is that after I whiten my teeth, I wait at least up until three days before I have any coffee, before I have any artificial colored drinks such as Gatorade, Powerade, anything that has added color to it, you want to wait at least three days until after you whiten your teeth and the reason why i say that is because anything that has artificial color will go ahead and stain your teeth as well as berries so for example if you were to take a berry and just squeeze it on a white shirt it'll automatically stain that white shirt same goes for your teeth that's why i recommend waiting at least three days before consuming any kind of coffee any kind of berries anything like that because you do not want to go ahead and stain your teeth so once those three days are up, I do like to go ahead and maintain my white and bright smile by drinking out of a straw. So if I'm going to have an iced coffee, I will drink it out of a straw. So for those who are 21 and older and you like to drink red wine, I suggest cutting back on it because it also stains your teeth. A lot of things stain our teeth more than what we realize. So if you do want to go ahead and keep a white and bright smile, those are things to just think about. And so yeah, that is pretty much my teeth whitening routine and how I upkeep my teeth. I have not whitened my teeth in over a couple of years. And as you guys can see, my teeth are still white and bright. So these techniques have definitely helped me and I hope that they help you as well. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see going forward. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Besitos.